Hey, hey, good people. Arthur Morris here. Hope all is well. In this video, video we're going to look at uh, factoring by grouping again. The difference here is that the third term is negative. Okay, so that's the difference here. First thing we always look for is a GCF all the way across. We don't have one. We have four terms, so we try to factor by grouping. Remember, we always want a plus in between the parentheses on this step. So that minus will follow the 9x in the parentheses, like so. All righty, the GCF for the first group is simply x squared. That gives us 3x minus 4. The GCF for the second group is 3. However, if that third term is negative, and we have a negative right there, in order to make our signs match up 9 times out of 10, you will need to factor out the negative version of uh, the greatest common factor. So since the greatest common factor is 3, I'm going to factor out a negative 3. And let's look and see what happens when I divide by negative 3. So negative divided by negative makes positive 3x. Positive divided by negative makes negative 4 or minus 4. So remember, what's in parentheses on this step has to match up. They have to be exactly the same in order as for us to continue. So 3x minus 4 and 3x minus 4. If we would have not factored out that negative, the signs would not have matched up. All right, but we have this common binomial here of 3x minus 4, so I'm going to factor that out. And when I factor it out, I'm dividing each one of those by 3x minus 4. And what I have left over is the x squared minus 3. Now, one other tip here. If you get to uh, this step right here and that first step where you're getting ready to factor out the common uh, the GCF, however, uh, you don't have a common factor, then you must factor out a 1. So um, let's say, let's see here, let's say we have in the second, let's say just, just for instance, and in, in that second parenthesis, we had 3x minus 7. And I need to factor out a common factor. I don't have a common factor. In this case, I would have to factor out a 1 to continue on to that step. That way uh, I will have something to uh, work from, but you must factor out a one if you don't have anything else to factor out on this type of problem. Alrighty, let's look at one more. All right, so we have two u to the third minus seven u squared minus 14 u plus 49. So again, don't have a common factor all the way across. I do notice that minus on that third term. So I know it needs to follow in the parentheses with that 14u. Like so. All right, now we want to factor out the common factor from each parentheses. So the common factor for 2u to the third and 7 u squared is u squared. So we get 2u minus 7. And then the common factor for 14u and 49 is 7. However, I see this negative here. And I know that the signs must match up to my first parentheses. First parentheses, I have a plus or positive and minus. But in my second parentheses, I have a negative and a positive. So to make those signs match up, again, nine times out of ten, when you see a negative on that third term, you need to factor out the negative common factor. So negative seven, negative seven. So factor out a negative seven. So I put a minus seven there. Then positive 2u, and then positive divided by negative is negative, so minus 7.
righty, factor out the common binomial, 2u minus 7. And then we have left over u squared minus 7. And that's a wrap for that problem. Alrighty, good people. Hope you found that video to be helpful, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.